comparative study between the 5% topical minoxidil and a compound named RCP standing. What is up guys? Today we are going to take a look at a study where they did a comparison in men with androgen alopecia, meaning hair loss, between the two compounds, which is minoxidil at 5%, and a compound named RCP. RCP is short for Widdesinal, Capisil and Procapil, which is a combination drug that has shown some pretty decent promising results, and we are going to take a look at them today. Before we start the video, guys, I gotta make this announcement. This is purely entertainment. It is not educational. I'm not a doctor. I'm not your doctor. You should see a physician by any kind of medical advice you want. You should see a professional. You shouldn't ask me. You shouldn't do what I do. This is just for entertainment. So before we go into the study, the first thing I want to mention is even though we are looking at the RCP compound, it is the medicinal that I am mainly focused on since it has shown to be not just as good as minoxidil, but also in some points superior uh, when it comes to treating androgen alopecia. Well, not exactly androgen alopecia, but at least extending the androgen phase of the hair. So first off, let's take a look at the three compounds in the RCP combination. The first one is of course the Widesinal I was talking about before. So Widesinal is a hair restore and hair regrowth serum that contains pure plant extract. It aims at hair follicle cells to reactivate the hair division by stimulating the initial hair growth phase. Hence it takes control over the telogen phase, the term used for hair fall as we know, and when biological components that make up with Desnal, such as DHQG and EFCG2 are combined with water, zinc and glycerin, it targets the hair follicle stem cells and leads to a massive increase in hair growth. Now this is the first one. The next one we of course have is the Capisil. And Capisil is a biometric peptide complex that is mixed with red clover extract and has demonstrated to cause an increase in hair width and density, meaning that this will make your hair look denser, thicker. So each hair strand will count as more, so to say. Because when you have androgen alopecia, what usually happens in the beginning is that your hair begins to shrink and become thinner and thinner and then eventually it will stop growing completely. So this will reverse some of the more early stages and effects of androgen alopecia. The next compound we have is Procapil. So Procapil has some extracts from plants that has a very significant effect on your 5-alpha reductase enzymes and will actually reduce them. Now this is the exact same thing as finasteride or potasteride does, but this is just from a plant. Of course it might not be as effective because it's not synthesized to a chemical compound, but it has shown to have some very promising effect. So more or less take from that what you will. So what happens when you combine these three materials in a serum, as they have done in this study? Well, the first thing you get is of course from the Redesinal, you get an extended anagen phase, which leads to longer hair and the hair will grow for a longer period of time before it falls out. Then of course the Procapil will make sure that you don't have too much DHT flowing around in your scalp just like when you take topical finasteride. And lastly, of course, we have the capixel. And the capixel will make your hair look denser and thicker, meaning that you'll have some denser looking hair. You won't lose as much to 5 alpha reductase or DHT, and your hair will grow for a longer period of time. So of course, at this point, I know some of you guys might be like, well, Phil, if these are only from plants and such and such, they won't be as effective as the chemicals we can get from anagenic or wherever we get our IU5841 from. And to be honest guys, it was my initial thoughts at first also. 
Just until I took a look at the studies and I was actually pretty amazed. So I found several studies that suggest that Redesinol alone is more effective than Minoxidil at several stages and it has some benefits over Minoxidil. Now the study that I just showed you guys is of course linked in the description as I always do, but today we won't focus on that study. Nope, instead we are gonna take a look at this study with the RCP that I have made ready for you guys. So of course the study here that we are using is also down below in the description, but if you don't want to spend time looking through it because it's a decent study and it's fairly long, then you can just follow me here in the video and I will take out the most interesting pointers and we will go through them. In this way I'll save you guys some time and I have done the footwork for you. So one of the most interesting parts that I noted in the study is if we look at not only the pictures where we can see a pretty precise improvement, it is very interesting. Besides the pictures from the frontal area to the vertex, which is by itself very impressive to look at, there's also these graphs we can see over here. Now what I find particularly interesting is the distribution of the pillars in the graph. Because if we look at them, we can see that the majority of the orange pillars is either on the middle, which is what's called a slightly better improvement, and all the way out to the right side, which is not changed or even worse. Now, on the contrary, for the RCP pillars, it is the direct opposite. Now, in the moderate section, they are dominating clearly and in clearly better, they are still above 20%, while the minoxidil group is below 7%. Now this just says a lot about the effectiveness of them. So it could mean that the patient they tested on were just very sensitive to any kind of treatment, but with over 100 patients, it is not very likely. More or less, it's most likely that if we used it on the same patient, he would get a better yield from the RCP solution. Second, if we go down, there's also what's called a global photo scale. Now this is where they send the pictures out to other scientists where they will, will evaluate how well they're doing and then they will grade them after their own opinion. Meaning that you are not getting any biased info at all because these other guys don't know what the study is or they, they know minimal about it so they won't be influenced by the results or the outcome. And once again, if we take a look over here, it is even more present now that the orange pillars tend to go from slightly changes to worse or not at all. And on the other hand, the RCP groups will go from slightly changed to better or in this case what's called perfect. So by itself this is a very interesting graph and study to take a look at because for some reason it might indicate that RCP actually might be superior to minoxidil. Now the only problem I have with this solution is for those of us who like to use IU58841 or CB0301 because it doesn't contain the ethanol. Now without the ethanol, it won't be able to dissolve the IU58841, meaning that you cannot put IU58841 into RCP and have the same results as with minoxidil. Meaning you would have to use a KB solution or make your own solution and then again after that apply the RCP solution. Making it a slightly more hassle, but if you tend to have some swelling in the face, some sunken in eyes, whatever you have from side effects, this is actually a very good substitute to try out. I'm definitely going to make my own RU58841 solution from now on, where it's only RU58841, and then I will also use this on the other hand and quit the minoxidil completely because I tend to get a little swelling in the face and I don't like it, I get bumps on the skin where I apply it. So I'm definitely going to try and give this a go and see how well it fits. Lastly guys, remember, don't take my word for anything. Do your own research, 
check it out whatever you like you know links in description and if you find this content of any kind of help meaningful or just like to see whatever i have to present each time consider like subscribe whatever helps me out a ton keeps me going and with that said guys i'll see you next time cheers